Dean, just first of all, uh, on, on reflection of, on Saturday's result, how pleased are you to, to get the three points in such a convincing, uh, in such a convincing performance? Yeah, delighted with the victory. Uh, it's a long time coming, and it just shows you how difficult the air division is. Um, I was really delighted with the performance as well. Excellent performance, front foot performance. Uh, used the ball really well at times, created several chances, and should have won by more really. Um, so yeah, upon reflection of that game, I'm really delighted with the performance on and the three points. So our attention turns to uh, this evening's game at Notts County. What, what are your initial uh, expectations of, of, of the match? Well, from their last three games, they're going to look to bounce back. You know, they're a team that really all the pressure's on them. It's a free game for us tonight, so we're looking forward to it. Um, it's a great place to play football. Uh, fantastic old-fashioned stadium um, with a lot of history. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're expecting them to come out and come, come after us. The, the, the fact that Notts County have, uh, have, have are winless in their last three games and we obviously won at all shots, do you think that might play in our favour in terms of confidence-wise? Not really, no. Look, they, 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 they want to be in a title race. That's their aim. Um, our aim is we're looking to create stability at our football club, um, So which we've done not a bad job at. Um, and we're looking forward to the game. Um, some of our players, now can they be consistent, really consistent, and step up again? You know, we've played teams like Boreham Wood uh, in, in the league, sort of drew nil nil and played Halifax and drew nil nil teams that are up there. And um, Halifax are a similar team to, to Notts County, a technical team. Um, it's a big question for us now how consistent can we be? Is tonight a chance, maybe, do you feel, to, to make a bit of a statement? Because uh, in, in recent weeks you, you've said that we haven't been as competitive against the top teams as maybe you would have liked to have been. In my opinion, Stockport and Chesterfield is the big game tonight in this division, and they're the two strongest teams at this moment in time. Uh, Borland Wood have got a fantastic defensive record, as we've seen. I'd just like to congratulate Borland Wood as well on, the, and on reaching the fifth round of the FA Cup. It was an amazing story and a great day for them on Sunday. And uh, all of us here would like to congratulate Luke and Danny and uh, some ex players of mine there as well. So I've walked before. So I think it's important that you know they're flying the flag for the National League, and uh, they should be proud of their achievements so far. And just what's the uh, what's the squad looking like in terms of injury wise ahead of tonight's game? I'll be honest, some of the lads have been in getting treatment today, so they're getting patched up for tonight. Um, we definitely know about them. Mario won't play, um, so he's got a dead leg. Efren's fifty fifty. Just we've got about six players that fifty fifty. I'll be totally honest with you. So um, I don't really know. I haven't even picked the team. I haven't even looked to pick a team yet. We'll have to wait till we get there tonight. What was the importance of an early goal um, like, like, as we scored against Aldershot in, in a game like this when, uh, when there should be a, a fair few fouls in there at Meadow Lane tonight? Let's see what happens. See, see how we get through the first 10 minutes, which is important. We don't want to be conceding early, which is very important. Um, and we've got to defend as well as we defended the other night collectively. Sorry, on Saturday. Um, if we defend as well as that and use the ball as well as we did the other day, we will get opportunities to pass the ball tonight. It's how we use the ball and how we penetrate the opposition, which is important. But to be fair, they're not counting. Like I said, they've got a lot of rotations. Uh, they play with the ball on the deck. Um, and they've got runners without the ball that like to run in behind. Our combinations are good. So we're in for a tough test. The biggest question for us is, like I said earlier, there is how consistent can we be? Can we step up and be consistent? So we'll see how we get on this evening. It's been announced that Mason Bluefield signed for, for Bromley on, on a permanent deal and it goes with our best wishes. Yeah, Bloom's a very honest kid, hard walking. Um, I suppose it didn't really happen for him here, um, to be totally honest with you. Bromley showed interest a couple of weeks ago, spoke to Jerry Doak down there, had a really good chat with him. Um, and they made us an offer really that we couldn't, we couldn't refuse. And as well as that, the player wants to go and be involved in the title race. And Bromley are in the title race. So, you know, it ticked a lot of boxes for both clubs. So it's just, we're just thanking for his efforts while he with us. And uh, the job now is to try, uh, is to try replace them. But we have got, we have got Serhat, we have got um, Daniel Powell, we've got Efron, we've got Adam Marriott, who can all sort of get on the, the middle of the pitch. So um, hopefully they'll get an opportunity that they can take as well. How has the, the recruitment process been for you over, over the last few weeks? It never stops. It's non-stop. Uh, so yeah, it just it doesn't stop. This time of the year, you, you sort of. You know, so important. The next player we bring in is better than what we have in the building already. That's so important. I think we've done that. We sort of Teddy Howe. Teddy's come in, and him and uh, young Jordan Thomas having a good battle down that right hand side. Thomas' standard of uh, performance the last two games has been excellent. Um, Teddy could, did a good job of south end at left back for us. So, you know, let's see what happens tonight. I think Tom will be struggling as well actually for tonight. So, Teddy may come back into the team. So we've we've got a lot of uh, question marks over a lot of players tonight over their fitness. And, and, and that, that provides a, a great opportunity for, for maybe other players who, uh, who might not have had some, some minutes lately. It definitely provides an opportunity. It's not ideal. You want, to, you, know, you want the team picking itself, especially the, sort of the back seven. 
um, back seven or eight, if that's what you're going to play with. Um, you want the back four or back five never changing with the goalkeeper, and you want your sitting midfield player never changing. It's okay rotating in the front end, um, but we're in that. It's not ideal to be honest with you. But like I say, other lads will get an opportunity. Let's see can they step up to the mark. And that should be a great occasion for, for our fans heading heading up to Meadow Lane tonight uh, in, in, in such a fantastic stadium. Yeah, I'd like to thank them for the for the, uh, the constant positive support, especially for myself and the players. And um, hopefully we can give them something to cheer about. You know, it, 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 it smells of a little bit when we went to Stockport that time, so it smells a little bit like that. Hopefully we can have a similar result. Um, but I think the most important thing is, is performance tonight. Let's get the performance right and see how consistent we're going to be. Thanks for your time. Cheers.